Yo, what's up guys? Um, as for yesterday's run, which would be March 8th, uh, which I forgot to do, um, we, I did, um, Patrick and I did a uh, pretty long run of, uh, for me it was about 14 miles on the day. Uh, so we did a, about two mile warm up, and then we did a workout. So the workout was eight by um, 1K at marathon pace, followed by 1K at um, tempo pace, which for me is about 5.30, marathon pace being right around 5.56. Um, and then that's continuous, so you keep going, you're alternating between those. And we did it on the Shenley Oval where there's the 1K uh, kind of uh, gravel loop. Um, so basically just one lap and then we go to a faster pace and then vice versa. So you keep going back and forth and alternating those paces. Um, so it went really well. I ended up doing all eight, uh, uh, all eight repeats. So that would, you know, equate to uh, 16 kilometers, which is um, almost 10 miles, um, just a little bit shy of 10 miles. And um, my average pace was probably around 539. Um, when taking into, into account the tempo portions and the marathon pace portions. But um, yeah, I'll show the run here, but I also have the average paces for each individual um, 1K, so the tempo and the marathon pace. Um, so the marathon pace was right around 549 a mile average pace, I think, and then the 528 or something like that a mile for the tempo portion. So it went really well, pretty much hit exactly what I was hoping to hit. Uh, felt really strong um, and now I got to figure out what I want to do Thursday because I the thought was to do some sort of marathon pace workout Thursday as well um, but maybe just all in all intensive marathon pace and nothing faster than that um, so we'll see what we end up doing but yeah it was, it was a great workout I felt really good weather was awesome weather this week is going to be great I feel like it might be an early spring here um, weather's just warming up a lot and I even I got to go shirtless yesterday for the workout which is fan fantastic um yeah so uh i will see you guys tomorrow um for a wednesday easy run and then thursday workout so see you guys for that tuesday march 9th sorry i forgot to do a thing on yesterday but i'll i'll mention that later today um but 12 and a half miles uh at uh, about like 715 average yeah 713 average so it was a good run about an hour and a half um, so yeah, finally going to eat some donuts. It took a lot longer than we thought, but we're here. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it is Wednesday, March 10th, and I just wanted to run you guys real quick through what I did today. Um, cause I forgot earlier, but I had a night class at 6.30 and I had gotten back at like 6.20, so I, had, I didn't have any time. Um, but now that I have time, um, I did about 13, 13.21 miles today, so it was a, actually went a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, ended up going through Frick Park and getting pretty deep into that park um, before heading back towards um, home. Um, so yeah, it ended up being kind of a longer run. Um, I would actually probably call it a mid mid distance run. The intention was just to get like nine or so today, but it's okay. I've front loaded this week pretty heavy with mileage, so it's going to be quite easy to hit the goal of 80 miles on the week uh, for this week. Um, cause I'm already at, uh, I'm already at 48 and a half according to Garmin. So I'm, I'm quite up there. Um, so yeah, um, cause I did, I did, uh, 14, uh, on Monday and then I did 12 and a half yesterday and then I did 13 today. So it adds up. Um, but yeah, uh, 732 pace average also. Um, so taking it nice and easy, but uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be getting up early with Patrick and uh, Cardamone to do a progression run. I'm probably going to be starting around um, a little slower than marathon pace and make our way down into lower fives, maybe 520, 515. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be an eight mile progression run. And uh, I'll see you after that. What's up, guys? It is Thursday, March 11th. And um, earlier today, I did a progression run workout. Um, ended up being about seven miles um, and then I tagged on another uh, hard effort for a mile at the end there um, I didn't feel great today um, I think I had I was really feeling the 41 miles I had done the three days prior uh, in total um, which I really front-loaded this week in mileage I didn't even intend to do that but it just kind of happened and so I definitely was feeling that this morning um, legs were uh, 
Definitely feeling a little bit tired and fatigued even on the warm up. So, you know, it wasn't a great sign right off the bat. Uh, weather was good though, so at least had that going for me. Um, and I was able to do it with Cardamone and Patrick, so it was nice to have them, them too as well for uh, significant chunks of the workout. Um, but yeah, it was, it was okay. I'm still happy with it overall. Um, it, it didn't quite go as I had hoped it would, but I was still able to uh, make a slow progression from starting at 546 down to 508 by the end. Um, but most of my miles were hovering right around that 530 average pace, um, like my tempo pace. So um, I don't know, I don't usually do progression runs very much. I much prefer tempos personally. I've always kind of struggled with progression runs for some reasons. For some reason, changing gears every mile is kind of tough for me mentally. Um, but I'm sure that's the case for a lot of people as well. And that's probably the, one of the uh, benefits that you get out of progression runs is having to change gears a lot. Um, so yeah, it was a good workout, guys. Uh, happy with it overall. And uh, I kind of, well, I was gonna do eight mile progression, but then I wasn't feeling great. So I sent the last, the seventh mile and stopped. And then I saw Cardamone run by and I, <laughs> and I was uh, motivated to do another mile at that point. Cause he, he duked it out, even though he didn't have a fantastic workout today. And so, Kind of inspired me to keep going so i was able to get another mile so shout out to carbon for motivating me there um but yeah uh i will see you guys tomorrow for an easy run legs are feeling definitely very tired right now since i'm at 50 51 miles uh for the week and with long run saturday that's already 71 so i only need nine miles outside of uh saturday for uh for 80 to get 80 my goal for the week so yeah, guys, hopefully my knee feels a little better tomorrow. It's not feeling too hot right now, but uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's up, guys? I just got back from my run this Friday. It is March 12th, and uh, I just took out, I went out an easy five, about 5.3 miles, a little less, at a 7.09 average pace. Just shaking it nice and easy before tomorrow's long run. Um, since I was at 51 as of the end of yesterday, uh, I realized I only need nine miles outside of my long run in order to hit the 80 mile uh, goal for the week. Um, so that's why I kept it short today. And plus long run tomorrow, a 20 mile long run tomorrow, my leg, I want my legs to be fresh. So I think they'll be feeling fresh as, as a result of me taking it easy and short today. Um, and I will, I will only have to do uh, four on Sunday to hit 80. So yeah, it really worked out nicely this week with all the front loading in the front of the week. But I, I probably won't do that again just for the purpose of trying not to get injured. Um, cause my knee was feeling a little weird last night. So I did a bunch of icing, took some Advil, tried to take care of that. And today, um, it only felt a little odd in the first quarter mile, but then it went away and I, I felt good after that. And it feels good now. Um, and it, and it felt good this morning, just walking around. So I think that's a good sign uh, for tomorrow's long run. I think it'll be good to go. Um, so I'm, that was a relief to, for that to happen. Cause, uh, sometimes little, uh, things like that come up. Um, I've had IT band issues before, so it was kind of worrisome at first, but I think I'm all right. So. I'll see you guys tomorrow after the 20 mile long run. Hey, what's up guys? I just got back from my long run just a little bit ago, uh, maybe about 30 minutes ago. It is Saturday, March 13th, and uh, today was uh, the long run. So I uh, ended up doing 20 miles at a 626 average pace. Uh, so solid pace, we were definitely moving at a good clip there um, for this run. Uh, ran with Cardamon and Patrick. We went out to uh, a a nice trail about 20 25 minutes drive from here um, called the panhandle um, a lot of the like, pit team runs there a lot um, so we went there and you know it's a nice place to do a long run it's very it's super flat it's like a rail tra it's a rail trail pretty much uh, it's a uh, you know just like uh, crushed gravel like um, small gravel um, so yeah it's it's very nice for long runs so I was able to hit some faster miles there was clipping at around 640s for most of the run and then um, towards the end there, uh, Cardamone and I, and I think Patrick ended up doing this as well. Um, we all did some marathon pace uh, running at the end, just kind of going a little bit faster to finish off the run. Um, so hitting like 550s, uh, give or take ten, uh, five or so seconds um, at the end there for uh, Cardamone. He did about uh, four miles at marathon pace, and I, I ended up, because he, he did 18, I ended up doing about five at marathon pace because I did 20. Um, so yeah, it was a great run. Uh, Felt really good, knee, no problems there, um, which you know ha was a concern a couple days ago, um, but felt good yesterday, felt good today, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. Uh, just did a bunch of stretching out and rolling out because you got to do that after long runs. Um, so the legs are feeling pretty good, and um, you know didn't feel great in the beginning. Also had a cramp for a, a, a large majority of the run, honestly. It was probably like 
eight or so miles towards the end of the run that I had a cramp. But it, it went it went away uh, for like the faster portion um, eventually, which was nice. So, yeah, good long run today, guys. I'm at six, 76 on the week, so uh, looks like I'll just be looking to hit around four or so tomorrow to hit 80. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the easy run. Hopefully, get some footage for that. All right, guys, just finished up the week um, with the Sunday easy run, March 14th. Um, taking it nice and easy today, obviously after yesterday's long run. Um, legs felt pretty good actually, they didn't feel that bad, uh, you know, easy, an easy pace for today felt right around 7.30, so I think I was about 7.30 on average, so, yeah, I think that pace felt easy today, which means, you know, my legs were pretty, pretty good after yesterday, uh, I think I did a lot of stretching and rolling out and dynamic stretching yesterday, um, so that helped a lot with how my legs felt today, um, and yeah, so 81 miles on the week, guys, we hit our goal, um, did one, one more than what I was shooting for for the week, so I was shooting for 80. So that that is great to see. Um, very happy with this week and how it how it went overall. Um, this next week, I'm not going to try to front load the week as much with mileage. So I think that kind of tweaked my knee up a little bit for for a temporary amount of time. Um, so I'm I'm going to try to avoid doing that this time around. But it was a great week, guys. Very happy with how it went. Good workouts. Great long run yesterday on the Panhandle. Um, and I'm looking forward to this next week. Going to be shooting for another uh, 80 mile week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We'll uh, work out tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, week 10 training log. Um, and if you did, uh, share it with your friends. Um, pass it around so other people can watch it too. Um, and yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.